amazing. Hey, what do you think of this? This is unbelievable. Do you know who painted this? This is actually a mural that was painted by myself and the people of Hudson. No kidding. Two summers ago. No way. So, yeah. Did you design this? I designed it, yep. I designed it and then it was like a giant paint by number. Oh my gosh. And probably over a hundred people in the community came out oh. to paint it just through the course of the summer. Can you just feel the positive energy yes. coming off of it? Absolutely. The, the energy behind the people that came and painted, the people driving down the street, sure. shouting encouragement. Wow. It was an unbelievable experience. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I'm sorry, what's your name? I'm Liz Melanophy. Liz, so nice to meet Good you. Good to meet Sarah. you. Yeah, this is amazing. So how did this start? Well, this, this wall is owned by a company called Saranda, okay. which is right up here on the top. Sure. And I was just talking to one of their employees one day and I said that I kind of coveted this wall and okay. I loved the wall and I wanted to do a mural on it. Yeah. She was part of an environmental committee that they have okay. uh, that ra tries to raise awareness about environmental issues and important okay. environmental things. And so they wanted to do a pollinator mural. Okay. So if you look at this mural all the way up, sure. it's all pollinators. Okay. And then it's right next to this beautiful pollinator garden. And sure. so that was the message behind it okay. was uh, local, yeah. the beautiful river, which runs through it, the pollinators. Okay. Um, and then it extends up to a wall beyond the alley. Okay. This big wall was the original wall they wanted us to do. But then when we got part way through it, it was such a great experience that they said, can you just keep going? So this is where we ended. Okay. And then he just was like, come on up here and do okay. more. So. So continued with the bees. Okay. And then we have a frog. Oh, wow. Hibernating and it goes up to snails, mole. Had some people doing some awesome like um, work on here. A friend of mine named Rachel. She did all of this. She did the mushrooms. Wow. Um, she did a beautiful job. You know, even if they just painted a solid color yep. somewhere, they're really proud of it. Sure. They've really taken pride in it, and they remember what they painted. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. What would happen if, say, someone messed up and... If they messed up, I would just say, that's fine. We yep. can paint over it. I mean, there were drips down the sure. wall. It was, I think for a long time, there were people that have now confessed to me that they said, what is that? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Because it right. looked sort of messy yep. for a while. But that's the way things happen when you collaborate sometimes. Sure. Sure. It takes a little, it's like the storm before the calm. Right. It just all takes a long time to sort of come together and, and, it, and it does, yeah. it's magical. Okay, so tell me about the pollinator garden. Well, this is Saranda also. So they okay. planted this whole boulevard all full of things that are pollinator friendly wow. um, and that attract bees and you can see it really works. Yeah. And it's beautiful to see these bees out here. It was actually really inspiring when I was working on it oh, too. Oh, I so. bet. Amazing. You did an amazing job designing this and you said you didn't just paint this. This nope, was many nope, people. Yep. I, did, I did a lot of it. I had a couple really ta talented high school okay. girls come down. I had Chloe Halverson helped me with the, some of the, these really beautiful, the butterfly, the hummingbird. Emily Schlepp worked on the dragonfly. Kate Melanophy worked down at that end. And then it was just, it was two-year-olds. It was no five-year-olds. It was 60-year-olds. It was 80-year-olds. Oh we would just come down and paint. Wow. Sometimes there were 30 people here, which was challenging. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then other times there were just me and a couple other people, and wow. sometimes it was just me, but. Okay, well, um, what an amazing thing that you've given to our community. Oh, thank it truly you. is amazing. It was my pleasure. And definitely, as you're walking by, you can't help but smile at it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, well, Liz, it was so nice oh, meeting thanks. you. Good to meet you, too. Yeah, I thanks really so much for it. giving this to our community. I am really appreciate my it. My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for watching. Tune in to our show next time. Have you driven by the Hudson Hospital lately and wondered, what is all that construction? Stay tuned for our next episode where I share what's happening right behind me.